just follow every move touch me let me know guys it has been a sunday this is the picture of a sunday in our house but we're gonna get it cleaned up Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I truly, truly, truly thank you for coming back every single week and cleaning along with me. And if you're brand new, you've never been to Jamie's journey, hello. I really hope that you find these videos motivating. Maybe you feel like you're hanging with a friend or you even just see a mom trying to juggle everything and not lose her mind. But I'm a wife. I've been married to my husband for 12 years. We are high school sweethearts. I am a mother to three girls. I have twin two-year-olds and I'm just trying to keep it all together. But in today's video, I'm sharing with you a nighttime clean with me. It'll be more of like a relaxing clean with me, not quite after dark because it's still pretty light here. Um, since it's the summertime, but more of a relaxing clean with me. And I'm really excited because I'm also going to be sharing with you how I plan for my week ahead, how I stay organized. So you're gonna see, you know, this part one on a Sunday night and I'm gonna bring you along as I sit down. I'm gonna show you exactly how I plan every step and how I do it, all of the tools, the, you know, notepads, how I stay organized, how I make it a little bit fun and easy how i meal plan how i pick up with or how i pick out meals how i come up with new ideas for super easy meals for the whole family i don't enjoy cooking so it's always a goal for me to find simple easy meals so i'm going to be sharing all of that with you guys tips hacks uh, for planning and i'm really excited to share all of this with you guys Just for tonight I want to believe So keep on coming closer Keep me hanging on Let me feel your body I want you to know Mike, my husband, was upstairs with the little girls, the twins, giving them a bath, and Avery was helping me clean up. This is pretty typical for our nighttime routine. I mean, not every night, but if there's a lot of picking up that needs to be done, Avery helps me. Mike goes upstairs. We work as a team um, to tackle the messes, the kids, and all of that. So he was getting them ready for bed, and I was getting a jump start on the messy house. So we were picking up the living room, picking up the kitchen, and then I was going to use the pink stuff to clean my messy stovetop. I typically use two products on my stovetop, and the pink stuff is one of my favorites, this and the Mrs. Meyers Baking Soda Cream Cleanser. So I'm putting on the pink stuff with the scrub mommy sponge, not the scrub daddy sponge, the scrub mommy sponge. I love this sponge. So I put it on there. I let it sit for a few minutes and it typically does a really good job, but occasionally there'll be some burnt on spots that you can kind of see that were left um, on here. It's pretty typical that that happens. So I grabbed my Scotch Bright stovetop sponge. This is a sponge that is designed for a glass cooktop stove. And all you do is get it wet with water. You scrub those burnt on spots and they come off pretty easily. It's pretty amazing. And I will have that sponge linked in the description.
and then i had noticed that these lights were looking a little dingy so i just took a microfiber cloth i wet it with some water and added some dawn dish soap and hot water and then i was buffing it after um, i wiped it down with that microfiber and dawn i was buffing it out with an e-cloth their e-cloth glass and mirror polishing cloth and it get like that combo got it just about as perfect as possible but um yeah so I'm really excited to bring you guys along for this plan with me tonight. I am very passionate about staying organized, planning out my week, and I really want to be able to help you guys as well. So I have some really good tips that I want to share. I also have asked you guys what works for you. What are your hurdles for planning? What is frustrating? What have you found that really works? And you guys have shared that with me. So I'm going to also share all of that with you. And I just, like I said, want to try to make this whole process as easy as possible. I'm really hoping that if you like this, maybe I can make it more of a regular type of video, maybe even on a Sunday so we can all plan together. I also got a new cleaning tool, something that can help a lot of you guys if you have a hard time being very mobile or bending over um, maybe you have some restrictions and you just want to clean your walls really fast i have a new cleaning tool that i cannot wait to share tonight i don't even care to die i'll see you in a while because this time i will choose you yeah i'll choose you know exactly how to look like this holding in a bag full of goods and these i need a night like this it's a risk cause you're using it You've got all your secrets I can't seem to move this thing You're pulling me out and I'm right back I'm on the sideline where you wanted me I'm by the byway waiting for your lead So something else I'm also going to share is two super easy crockpot meals Oh, and by the way, Avery was getting some cereal down earlier for a snack and she spilled it and I knew that I would be cleaning up later after dinner. So I just told her I would clean it up for her. And this also prompted me to get in here and not only clean up the floor, but also kind of declutter the pantry a little bit. Just doing this feels really good and makes a big difference. I mean, like I got rid of a good amount of boxes. I consolidated, just kind of spruced it up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be sharing two crock pot recipes in today's video for tonight We had stuffed shells for dinner. It was a crock pot recipe easy 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 and it was a win for everyone the other recipe I'm going to be sharing with you is a um, Tortellini sausage and tortell Italian sausage and tortellini soup like five or six ingredients and if you're new here i hate to cook so i am always on the lookout for easy simple meals um so if you guys like those type of things i'll continue to share them I had just noticed there was some marinara sauce that had gotten on the cabinets, probably from dinner. So I grabbed my Mrs. Meyers multi-surface spray to quickly wipe things down. I typically use Dawn dish soap and hot water to clean my cabinets just because it's a very mild cleaner. And our cabinets were painted almost a year ago and we were told to use a mild cleaner. But sometimes I use the Mrs. Meyers cleaner, just the multi purpose cleaner just because it's quick and easy and fast and then i was going to wipe down the countertops with the jaws multi-purpose spray this is a wonderful spray one of my favorites and i was also going to use the jaws kitchen degreaser on the twins's um high chairs because the spaghetti there was just a lot of messes so i needed more of like a degreaser and this does a really good job
So if you guys have any just general questions for me, let me know in the comment section. It's always fun for me to answer, you know, your curious questions so I can talk about something other than cleaning in my video. So if you have any questions for me, let me know down below. And if you see one that you really want me to answer, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Then I was going to wipe down the slider door with my Jaws glass and window cleaner before trying out that new wall cleaner. Oh, and Mike was also in the living room folding laundry after he got the kids put to bed. Um, but to be honest with you guys, I got this wall cleaning tool because I've had a lot of you guys want me to show you. Like, I know that you all don't have the ability to get on countertops or bend all the way over and get baseboards and all of this. So I thought this would be a good tool to try out and give... To you guys if maybe you've just had surgery you can't move as easily maybe you have more restrictions and so this was highly rated on amazon and it comes with two different heads and i know one looks like a mop so you could totally use a mop if you already have one like the o cedar spin mop like i have i thought about using that but i really thought having something flat would be better on the wall so i specifically bought this one because it had that flat head and i don't know if i will use the other head that looks like a mop very often but i just really wanted the flat head so that's exactly why i bought it I am impressed. It glided along the wall and it made me be able to get up to like the higher reach places you can see. Um, I was just kind of testing it out tonight. I have other things I want to get done tonight, but wow, so far, super impressed. It feels like you're mopping the walls. I thought you saved me when I was down, but what you're doing has hurt me now. Cause I've been in the fire line way too long. I've been in the fire line way too long. You hit me, baby. You shot me down. My heart. So if you're curious, I was just using a tiny bit of Dawn dish soap and hot water in the bucket to dip the wall cleaner tool into. But anyways, I was going to vacuum and mop before going upstairs to plan. And I'm using the Tinco Power Hero 11 vacuum. It has three speeds. So I like using the highest setting on my carpet and the lowest setting on my hardwood flooring. That's linked in the description. Um, if you guys are curious about it, but after I vacuum and mop, then like I said, I'll be taking you upstairs to do all of the planning, give you step-by-step -step instructions on how I plan. But yeah, it's a Sunday night, so that's always part of my Sunday night routine. I put in one teaspoon of powdered Tide laundry detergent in my mop bucket to mop my floors. Baby, 
shut me down my heart is bleeding i'm scarred for life cause i've been in the fire line way too long yeah i've been in the Okay, so I break up my planning into a monthly list, a weekly list, and a daily list. Monthly planning is obviously once a month, I sit down before the new month starts and I write out everything we have going on in my personal desk planner, which is from Personal Planner, and I will have that linked below in the description, as well as on this acrylic calendar that I made with my Cricut. It's really nice because it's in our kitchen and it has everything written down for the month. Mike can see it, I can see it, and I get reminded of what's going on during the month daily because it's right there in our kitchen, which you know we spend a lot of our time in. So I just make sure that I'm writing everything down that we have going on for the month, like activities, sporting events, birthdays, and all of that type of stuff. And then every single week on a Sunday night, I take time to actually plan out my week. I know nobody wants to do this. It's not particularly fun, but it is crucial to staying organized. You have to carve out the time to do it. Make it fun, make it comfortable, make it cozy. I put on some lotion, I light a candle. My kids are typically in bed at this point, but they're not always in bed. So if they're not, I'll just have my husband hang out with them, entertain them while I do this because this is important to our family running properly someone else suggested this they said that they they hand over their kids to their husband so they can do this weekly so ask for help if you need time to organize don't be afraid to ask for help but i make it fun and comfortable i sit down in my office and this is another important tip because you know if i'm let's say my kids aren't in bed and I'm, you know, not alone, I'm going to have so many distractions. So I need to like hold myself into the office in a space. I want everything at my fingertips so I can sit down with my desk planner. I have my computer right there where I create my grocery pickup order. So as I'm planning out recipes, I can add stuff to the grocery order. I can even look up new meals and recipes right there on the computer through Pinterest. So you need to have a little space, a little setup to make this go quick and easy. I'm going to be sharing some of the tips and hacks and tricks that you guys shared with me when I asked on Instagram, so stay tuned for that. But I also wanted to share these really cool erasable pens. So I like them because they really pop in my planner, but you can erase them because I'm constantly erasing as things change. Life happens, so they're really, really cool. And I just love that they're pens, but erasable, and I'll have those linked below. I use highlighters for different categories, which which makes it a little bit more fun, but also very eye-catching. So Avery has a color because she has soccer and softball. I have a color for my YouTube schedule. Um, you know, just different colors to really make those different categories pop and help remind you of things. Okay, I'm sure I've already talked about this, but obviously I sit down monthly and plan everything out, but this would be my Sunday nighttime. I try to make it comfortable and cozy with my lotion and my candle, but I'm sitting down for my week. I have my grocery list. So as I make my meal plan, which a lot of the meals, I get inspiration if it's something new, I pull from Pinterest, but it's just nice to have like the library of meals right here. And then I decide what I want to eat and then I can add it to my grocery list right here and then submit it. But every single day I sit down and I pick out, you know, this is obviously in addition to normal everyday life mom stuff. So I try to pick three to five non-negotiable things that I have to get done. And so here are my three to four things I have every single week or every single day that I really, really, really need to get done that I'm going to try everything I can to get those done. Try not to make it too overwhelming because if I do, I'm setting myself up for failure. So try to strive for three to five things. And then I write my meals down here. And like I said, I can pick out all of the ingredients like I go through um, and whether I have the recipe in my phone or from Pinterest, I can sit down and add it all right here to the grocery list to make for sure I have everything. And then in addition to the three to five things, I kind of create a list and I put it on a post-it just so I can um, remove it if I need to. These are things I would like to get done that I don't have to get done this week, but I really want 
to get done. So if for whatever reason I have a little bit of extra time, things go a little bit more smooth than they more smooth than they should, then I can start um, on this little list. But if I don't get to it, it's okay. But I think using highlighters is also kind of nice, um, makes it a little bit more fun. So here you can see I use different highlighters depending. It's like purple is for me personally, like my dad's birthday, I'm getting a hair and highlight. Blue is more for like YouTube and that type of stuff. And then the orange is for Avery. The twins aren't in a lot right now, so it's not as big of a deal. Um, but Avery has her own category or highlighter as well. And it just makes everything kind of pop a little bit more. Then I also utilize my phone to remind me of important things at a certain time. So this is just the reminder app that comes standard on the iPhone. So when there's something that I'm like, oh, I need to remember, like, you know how when you're just, you're feeding your kids and it pops in your head, you're like, oh, I need to order a birthday present for my dad, or I need to order a birthday present for Avery's birthday party that she's going to next weekend, but you can't do it right then. I will stop and not go look for that or whatever I need to do at that point, I add a reminder. And so I'll just go through and set it to remind you at a specific day and time. So like I said, it's Tuesday, let's say it's, or it's Sunday, I remember, oh shoot, I need to get my dad a birthday present. Well, I know that at 9 p.m. on Tuesday night, I'm not gonna be doing anything. So I'll be say, okay, I know I'm gonna have time Tuesday night, set a reminder, and then there I have it. So Tuesday night, I'm gonna get reminded, it's gonna come through on my phone that I need to get a birthday present for my dad. So if there's anything, you know, that you um, know that it's like time sensitive or you wanna remember at a certain time, and I try to do it, um, like those things that pop in my head, I try to set the time for when I know I'm gonna actually be able to do it. So a lot of times that is at night after the kids go to bed, but utilizing my phone is nice just cause I always have my phone or if like I wanna make a post on Instagram or something like after a video goes up, sometimes I forget cause I get distracted by the kids. I'll say like, okay, make an Instagram post um, at 11 a.m. on Thursday when I know my video is going live. So just things that I know it's gonna pop up on my phone and remind me right And then back. every morning I sit down with this other list. So what I do is I write it all down in my planner, but then I write it down again on a post-it so I have it with me downstairs and all day long. So I like to look it over while I'm drinking my coffee, while my kids are eating breakfast. I am a big, big, big list maker and what motivates me to to get going is to complete my list and I love crossing things off so I'm constantly writing things down but you could totally do this in your phone as well just do whatever is easier for you and then I also have this dry erase board which I'll have linked down below that I put on the side of our fridge it lists Avery's daily chores as well as our meal plan for the week so everyone in the family knows what's going on and it's a good reminder for myself so if I know like chicken needs to be set out beef needs to set, be set out to defrost I see it when I walk downstairs in the morning and it's a nice reminder but I know sitting down and planning, especially on a Sunday night, is a lot of, it's a lot of times it's like the last thing we want to do, but I'm telling you, try to make it um, your oasis. Like try to make it relaxing. And something else that I will do is I will spend my time doing this, maybe like a half an hour, and then I reward myself. So like, okay, now I'm gonna go take a long hot shower, or I'm going to have like chocolate chip cookies, which is my favorite, or I'm gonna have a snack or some popcorn, or just do something small, like I'm gonna go watch my favorite TV show to try to get myself through this. It's kind of what I look forward to, but just make it relaxing, make it fun, and start out that week on the right foot. So I had asked you guys what were some of your biggest hurdles when it came to planning and a lot of you said you just didn't have time to do it. A lot of you said you felt overwhelmed, afraid you were not going to be able to finish your to-do list and what you write down every day. Um, a lot of you said meal planning is the biggest hurdle. So to go through all of those, like I said, you just have to carve out the time and I think setting a schedule is really important. That's why I do mine every Sunday night. It's just at this part 
point it's just part of my routine i don't even think about it carve out that time every single week and make it a part of your routine ask your spouse ask your partner ask a family member to hang out with your kids don't be afraid to ask for help because essentially your week is going to go a lot smoother if you take the time to do this and then with meal planning like i said for me it's sitting down at my computer because i can go to pinterest um, and it just has all of the recipes that I've pinned before on my Pinterest boards, but then it also suggests different meals and gives me new meal inspiration. So I just try to find a hub, a place where, you know, I have everything. I have my lists, my notepads, my computer, all of that together. But um, to switch gears here for a second, I'm making a sausage and tortellini soup. It's so good. It smells amazing. And I kind of made a mistake. We didn't have tortellini. We got ravioli instead of tortellini, but it totally worked out fine. So we just added in ravioli instead of tortellini, but it's like five or six ingredients. So simple. Everyone loved it. Um, I just browned some sausage um, on the stovetop and then put it in the crock pot. I poured some Italian diced tomatoes, chicken broth, cream cheese, stirred it together, let it cook for a couple of hours, and then I put in some ravioli, um, but then, or it would be the tortellini, and then some spinach, and then let it cook for another 30 minutes while the noodles cooked, and something that's super easy, super simple, and everyone loves it, and I will have this recipe linked in the description. So I do plan to share with you guys more planning tips. I have so much on this topic that I want to share because I'm very passionate, but you guys also shared some amazing planning tips that I want to share with you guys too. So stay tuned for that here in a second, but this is just night two. Um, I put on my comfy pajamas and my comfy slippers and I was getting started cleaning in the girls room. I turned on um, super simple songs, which is on YouTube. The girls love it. They were listening to it as I was cleaning up the room before going to to bed and then I was going to focus on a couple of other areas here upstairs but as far as tips and what you guys suggested is someone said plan with a friend and I think this is an amazing tip text your friend you know maybe you both sit down and you pick a date maybe it's Sunday nights and then at eight o'clock on Sunday nights you text your friend and say like hey are we ready to plan you sit down you carve that time out you hold each other accountable you make your list for meals and say hey what are you having for dinner tonight or or this week and you guys can bounce ideas or meals off of each other so I thought that was really really cool and if you guys need me to be that friend for you you let me know other people said just you have to carve out the time and I think we all know this you just have to do it ask for help if you need to carve out the time and you can't other people said um, write things down like write down your must-haves and then split it up each day which I kind of showed you that's kind of what I do with my daily to-do list other people said that they plan out meals for two days. So, you know, if you're having tacos, maybe make a double batch and you have tacos two nights in a row. Or someone else said, maybe you make, you double your recipe, but then freeze the meat. Like if you're having chicken tacos, freeze that meat or the beef, and then, you know, you can have it maybe next week. So they said doubling up on their meals made a world of a difference. So which, whichever way is going to work better for you. Other people said, just don't over schedule yourself every day. And guys, this is so important. We have to keep it simple. We cannot over schedule ourselves. We all live busy lives. And yes, we want to get it all done every single day. We want to do it all and there's so much on our plates but that's not always realistic so make sure you're being realistic with your daily and your weekly to-do list if you have to let some something go it's okay focus on what you have to get done the non-negotiables and then go from there don't over schedule yourself because you could be setting yourself up for failure other people said just continue making lists, you know, write down a list on your phone if you need to, write it down on a post-it, a notepad, just create a bunch of lists so it's always there. And I just hope a lot of these tips are resonating with you. I hope it's helping you. If you have any planning tips or tricks, let me know in the comment section. But if you guys want to make this more, like I could include this, like maybe on a monthly basis to help, you know, 
get you guys to plant each week or you let me know how much of this you want to see if you like it if it's motivating let me know but we can do this So here I was just cleaning the girls' bathroom, wiping things down with a microfiber cloth. I was using the Jaws foaming bathroom cleaner for the bathtub and the vanity area, and then I was using the Jaws glass and window cleaner for the mirror. I was also going to be using that glass and window cleaner on the windows, and then the Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray on the blinds. And now it's so long ago Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too I know I've talked a lot about planning in today's video, but it's just something I am passionate about because I hate waking up in the morning and just feeling flustered. You know, it's not like before I had kids when I could just slowly wake up, drink my coffee, you know, have my full brain energy put towards what I had going on for the day. Now it's like my kids wake me up and I feel like I don't even have time to think about what I have to do. It's let's get them up, dressed and fed and all of that. Or even if I do wake up before they do, which I do sometimes, but even then it's like, it's just nice to have everything already planned out and I can just put all of my mental energy to exactly what I have going on for that day because it is all planned out. I don't have to think about the next day or any of that stuff. And then when I was done cleaning here in the girls' bathroom, I was going to grab the laundry that had been going through the evening and take it downstairs. Mike and I were going to fold that here in a little bit, but I needed to wash some of the fruit we had just gotten in, um, and I wanted to put those in the container so they are easy. Just I like it better when it's prepared. It's just the girls love their fruit. It's always easy to have on hand um, for snacks and stuff, so... Um, I was also going to drink some of my Natural Calm, which is just a powder you add to your drink. It's a magnesium supplement. It just, I mean, it doesn't have like a, it does not have a sedating effect at all, but it's magnesium. It's great for a whole host of things. You guys can like Google it if you want, but I drink it before I go to bed. I'll have that linked in the description. It's called Natural Calm. Um, but I also, um, love this new strainer I got. It extends to the length of your kitchen sink and when I wash my fruit maybe like during like earlier in the day I'll just let it sit for a little bit and fully dry and I just love this strainer. Some, sometimes the most simplest things you love as an adult. So I'll have that linked below if you want to but I was getting everything ready, prepared, put in these containers that help keep the fruit fresh a little bit longer and then Mike and I were going to sit down, watch some TV, relax and just kind of enjoy our day. Or I mean our night.
we got it done. <laughs> Teamwork. So got all of the laundry folded. Now we're gonna sit back and finish up some Big Brother. We have, I don't know if you guys watch it, but it's a great show. It's something that we like watching together. But we missed last night's, last night's episode. So we're like trying to catch up from last night's and then tonight's, so. Anyways, that is what we're gonna do. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it motivating. And if you like the plan with me, you like that added aspect of this video, please let me know. And I was thinking that maybe I could kind of do more of those clean and plan with me's and maybe even do it on a Sunday to help get you guys motivated to not just clean but plan and start out your week on the right foot. So let me know if that's something you guys would like to see or what day you would like to see those type of videos. And yeah, I guess I will see you guys next time. <laughs>